Hi. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna talk about asteroids. Do you know that there are at least two asteroids being monitored by NASA that are so close to Earth and large in order to bring catastrophe? Well, find out by watching this video to the end and decide whether you will need to prepare for it now. First, let's take a look at what asteroids are and the dangers that it poses to our planet Earth. Asteroids are tiny rocks that orbit the Sun, like other planets, but are far smaller in size. The majority of asteroids in our solar system are situated in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter's orbits. Apart from that, they circle around the Sun and spin in the orbits of other planets. Dinosaurs endured the worst day of their lives 66 million years ago. A cataclysmic asteroid strike brought an end to a rule that had lasted 180 million years. Luis Walter Alvarez, a Nobel Prize-winning physicist, and his geologist son, Walter, published a theory in 1980 that a massive asteroid crashing with Earth generated a historic layer of iridium-rich clay. The immediate devastation in the near neighborhood, as well as the global subsequent consequences of an asteroid hit, were thought to be the reasons for the dinosaur's extinction. The Alvarez hypothesis was contentious at first, but it is now the most widely recognized idea for the end of Mesozoic era mass extinction. An asteroid impact is supported by pretty excellent evidence since we've located the crater, says Professor Paul Barrett, a dinosaur researcher at the museum. It's now mostly submerged on the seafloor off Mexico's coast. It's the same age as the non-bird dinosaur extinction, which can be traced in the rock record all around the world. The Chicxulub Crater, located on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, is the impact site. The asteroid was estimated to be between 10 and 15 kilometers in diameter, but the collision's velocity resulted in the formation of a far wider crater, measuring 150 kilometers in diameter, the planet's second largest crater. Large tidal waves washed over areas of the American continents as a result of the dinosaur-killing collision, which sent massive volumes of debris into the air. There is also evidence of significant fires from that time period. Non-bird dinosaurs were considered to have died out 65 million years ago for a long time. The dating of those layers of clay around the planet is pretty accurate, Paul continues, it's estimated to be within a couple of thousand years. The date of the dinosaur extinction has been refined by recent redating, and it is 66 million years ago. Around 75% of the Earth's fauna, including dinosaurs, died off at the same period. So, how did a rock crashing onto Central America's coast cause all of this? The asteroid hit at tremendous velocity and effectively vaporized, Paul explains. It created a massive crater, wreaking havoc on the surrounding environment. A massive blast wave and heat wave erupted, hurling massive amounts of material into the skies. It caused soot to travel all across the world. Although it did not entirely hide the sun, it did restrict the amount of light reaching the Earth's surface. As a result, it had an effect on plant growth. This cascaded up the food chain like dominoes, forcing the ecology to collapse. The decrease in plant life had a significant influence on herbivores' ability to survive, which meant that carnivores would have suffered as well, due to a lack of food. Breeding seasons would have been shorter, and conditions would have been more difficult. On land and in the sea, all living things would have been affected in some way. There has been a lot of debate about the death mechanism and how long it lasted. There are still a lot of unanswered questions, but it was a tremendous catastrophe that affected all life on Earth, from bacteria to dinosaurs, Paul explains. The death toll is high. Ammonites, certain microscopic plankton, and big marine reptiles were among those that perished. While the dinosaurs never had the technology to see incoming objects towards Earth, our scientists have all the tools necessary to do just that. In fact, 
There are a number of near-Earth objects that our scientists have been closely monitoring. Near-Earth objects, or NEOs, represent potentially catastrophic threats to our planet. A near-Earth object is an asteroid or comet which passes close to the Earth's orbit. In technical terms, a NEO is considered to have a trajectory, which brings it within 1.3 astronomical units of the Sun, and hence within 0.3 astronomical units, or approximately 45 million kilometers of the Earth's orbit. NEOs generally result from objects that have experienced gravitational perturbations from nearby planets, moving them into orbits that allow them to come close to the Earth. On August 16, 2020, the Zwicky Transient Facility, a robotic survey camera at Palomar Observatory near San Diego, discovered an asteroid that had flown only 1,830 miles, or 2,950 kilometers, above Earth's surface just hours before. The asteroid, designated 2020 QG, is the closest known to fly by Earth without colliding with it. Asteroid 2011 CQ1, found by the Catalina Sky Survey in 2011, was the previous record holder, passing nearly 1,550 miles, or 2,500 kilometers higher above Earth than 2020 QG. Even if asteroid 2020 QG had been headed at Earth, it would have burned up in our planet's atmosphere because it is only 10 to 20 feet, 3 to 6 meters, wide, or about the size of an SUV. The asteroid got close enough to Earth that Earth's gravity considerably modified its orbit, says Tom Prince, a physicist at Caltech and co-investigator at the Zwicky Transit Facility. Asteroids of this size that come as close to Earth as 2020 QG happen once or twice a year, but many of them go undetected. Another asteroid 2021 AF8 has its orbit established using observations dating back to December 1, 2014, and it was on July 9, 2021, that it was last officially observed. The Minor Planet Center of the International Astronomical Union, IAU, reports 391 observations that were utilized to determine its orbit. Let's take a look at its orbit around the Sun. You will observe that at some point, its orbit crosses that of the Earth, making it an Apollo-class asteroid. Asteroids of the Apollo class, APO, are objects whose orbit crosses that of Earth. In this database, there are 14,570 Apollo-class asteroids, out of 1,108,846 total, accounting for 1.3% of all objects. 2021 AF8 is a tiny asteroid that crosses Earth's orbit. Due to its projected close passes with Earth, NASA JPL has categorized 2021 AF8 as a potentially hazardous asteroid, approaching Earth at a speed of 9 km per second. Every 1,050 days, or 2.87 years, 2021 AF8 circles the Sun, getting as close as 0.98 astronomical units and as far as 3.06 astronomical units. Take note that one astronomical unit is equivalent to 149,598,000 kilometers. 2021 AF8 is presumably between 0.242 and 0.542 kilometers in diameter based on its brightness and the way it reflects light making it larger than 90% most asteroids, but tiny compared to huge asteroids. According to the Earth Impacts Effects Program, a collaborative initiative of Imperial College London and Purdue University, if the 0.400-kilometer diameter asteroid were to strike, it would have the energy of 3,300 megatons of TNT. That's essentially the same as detonating 60% of the world's remaining nuclear weapons at the same time and in the same location. The crater would be roughly twice the breadth of Manhattan and about as deep as the recently erected Freedom Tower in New York. On impact, more than 100 million cubic meters of rock would be destroyed instantly. The tremor would be comparable to a magnitude 7.0 earthquake. If you were 60 miles or 100 kilometers from the impact location, 
you'd be pummeled with debris up to two inches in diameter in less than two minutes. The air blast caused by the impact's heat would unleash hurricane-force winds within five minutes, smashing your windows. The consequences would be far more severe if you were within around 20 miles or 30 kilometers. For comparison, New York City is roughly 20 miles wide. The average fragment size heading your way would be the size of a dishwasher, and wind speeds would reach 500 miles per hour in 90 seconds. Over 90% of trees, buildings, bridges, and just about everything else would be blown down. It's not a nice sight. The image shown is an artistic rendition that uses data on the diameter of the 2021 AF8 to generate an approximate landscape rendering with New York City in the background for the viewer's appreciation. At its closest point, 2021 AF8's orbit is 0.02 astronomical units from Earth's orbit. This means that there is always a safe distance between this asteroid and Earth, however, an asteroid of about 400 meters in diameter, 2013 TV 135, is not being ruled out by NASA to impact Earth in 2032. Roughly, we have about a decade to prepare for that. Among other things, scientists have looked into hitting harmful objects with spaceships. Let's just hope that if it comes to that, world governments can agree on exactly what to do more quickly than they have on the far more real threat of climate change. If you find this video useful, please press that like and subscribe button and share it so other people will know. Thank you.